Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Welcome to the News at 11. I'm Vic Carter. A stark warning. If you use the Uber rideshare app tonight, police across city and county lines are investigating after a string of ride-sharing robberies over the weekend up until today. Take a look. Here's a map of where police say these incidents happened. According to investigators, there were three separate crimes where someone called for an Uber and then got abducted and robbed. WJC's live, Christina Mendez shares potentially life-saving tips from the ride-sharing service. Christina. Vic, so Uber is sharing several features that come automatically on your phone, and those include an automatic 911 dial button, as well as sharing your driver's details with family or friends. So while this ride-sharing company is offering these reminders to anyone who uses the app, police, they are looking for who may have been behind the wheel and anyone else accused of helping in this weekend's plot. Uber was posing as Uber drivers doing robberies. It's kind of like a horror story. That's like movie stuff right there. But this isn't a fictional film. It's for real. And police are investigating Uber incidents in both Baltimore City and County. They, they rob and abduct the uh, potential passenger. Three separate victims call for an Uber ride only to find themselves in a robbery scenario. People are bored doing anything. Police say this string of back-to-back -back robbery kidnappings began on Saturday in the city just after 2.30 in the morning and ended nearly 48 hours later Monday morning. In two cases, the victim reports being forced into an Uber car. One incident was at gunpoint, then was taken to an ATM where suspects demanded cash. Afterward, the victim was cut loose. In a third case, the victim told police the Uber posing perps were after a cell phone and was hit across the face several times before being let go. When it comes to like life or death situations, you never know what's going to save you. In a statement, Uber offers what could be life-saving suggestions. In part, the ride-sharing service wrote, We encourage riders and drivers to cancel trips if they don't feel safe and remind riders to always double-check the details of their ride. Car make and model, driver name and photo, and license plate before getting in. As an Uber driver, Sophia Lynn says using the ride sharing app as a supplemental income has taught her one thing trust your instincts. If I felt uncomfortable, it just wasn't happening. Police in both jurisdictions are now working to figure out if all of these crimes may be connected. As for Uber, they do confirm to us that they are both cooperating and helping police with each of this investigation. I'm reporting from Baltimore. I'm Christina Mendez for WJC. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.